breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. The implication of the verdict reached by Abia Court on the case filed by Unam Dekanu against federal government. The implication of the verdict reached by Abia Court on a case filed by Unam Dekanu against federal government. To my dear listeners from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read today's news. The verdict reached by Justice Benson Aya, the presiding judge of a high court in Abia State, has clarified whether the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unam Dekanu, intentionally jumped the bill in 2017. According to the punch, the court ruled in favor of the IPOP leader as it ordered the federal government to pay him one billion naira and apologize to him for the military's invasion of his home in 2017. It was reported that Kano approached the court demanding that the government pay him 5 billion naira over the invasion of his father's home by the military on September 10, 2017. Recall it was said that the IPOP leader jumped bail in 2017 after he fled from the country following report that his home in Abia State was invaded by the military while they were carrying out Operation Python Dance. At the time, the Army Public Relations Department said the operation was to put an end to criminal activities in the Southeast, particularly armed robbery, kidnapping, as well as a threat to security and peaceful coexistence in the country. The verdict reached the court implies that Kanu did not jump bail intentionally, as it means he fled as a result of the attack on his father's home. The verdict reached by Justice Benson Aya, the presiding judge of the High Court in Abia Court, in Abia State has clarified whether the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onamde Kano, intentionally jumped bill in 2017. According to the punch, the court ruled in favor of the IPOB leader as it ordered the federal government to pay him one billion naira and apologize to him for the military's invasion of his home in 2017, it was reported that Kano approached the court demanding that the government pay him 5 billion naira over the invasion of his father's home by the military on September 10, 2017. Recall it was said that the IPOB leader jumped the bill in 2017 after he fled from the country following reports that his home in Abia State was invaded by the military while they were carrying out Operation Python Dance. At the time, the Army Public Relations Department said the operation was to put an end to criminal activities in the Southeast, particularly armed robbery kidnapping, as well as a threat to security and peaceful coexistence in the country. The verdict reached by the court implies that Kanu did not jump bail intentionally as it means he fled as a result of the attack on his father's home. The verdict reached by Justice Benson Aya 
the presiding judge of the High Court in Abia State, has clarified the whether the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Onam de Kano, intentionally jumped bail in 2017. According to the punch, the court ruled in favor of the IPOB leader as it ordered the federal government to pay him one billion naira and apologize to him for the military's invasion of his own in 2017. It was reported that Kano approached the court demanding that the government pay him five billion naira over the invasion of his father's home by the military on September 10, 2017. Recall it was said that the IPOB leader jumped the bill in 2017 after he fled from the country following reports that his home in Abia State was invaded by the military while they were carrying out Operation Python Dance. At the time, the Army Public Relations Department said the operation was, was to put an end to criminal activities in the Southeast, particularly armed robbery, kidnapping, as well as a threat to security and peaceful coexistence in the country. The verdict reached, but the court implies that Kanu did not jump bail intentionally as it means he fled as a result of the attack on his father's home. To my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Now to my dear listeners, why won't Kanu fled when, when already there is a threat to his life? And again, on whose order did the army go to his house to search his house? Even even if they has even if they have gotten him that they kind of would have been killed by now. So to my dear listeners, what do you have to say about this news? Please do drop by the comment section and let us know what your view is all about. Thank you for listening.